Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respected viewers, welcome to Iqra Quiz. Iqra Quiz is a game show. We ask some questions to the contestants and if they give the correct answer, they get the score. Alhamdulillah, they enjoy when they, they get the score. And this is how the game works, in fact, by earning some scores and Islamic knowledge, inshallah, you can shine up your Islamic knowledge also by listening this scores, by listening this question, rather. Alhamdulillah, and today, uh, mashallah, this is the final round for these two contestants. They were here before. I'm sure definitely you saw them in the last episodes. Today we have with us one of the finalists is Anaya Kamran. Assalamu alaikum, Anaya. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome again, alhamdulillah, to the show. Uh, you've been through to the final, and yes. today you're here for the final. How you feel? I feel confident. Mashallah, mashallah. But <coughs> today we have another one with us today, Riha. She's also another finalist. Assalamu alaikum, Riha. Wa alaikum assalam. Mashallah. So both of you are finalists. Right? Yeah. So one of you will be the winner today. So very, very tough. Rules are the same rules. By giving correct answer, five, and with the wrong answer, zero. And in terms of equal points, we'll go to the buzzer round. Huh? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. uh, which madrasa you go to? Khidma Academy. Khidma Academy? Yeah. Okay, you like your madrasa? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alhamdulillah. May Allah give you baraka. Thank you. Okay, inshallah. So, shall we start? Yes. Yeah. Confident now? You said you are very <laughs> confident. Okay, then first I'll have to go to you because you said you are confident. Okay, so first question goes to Anaya. Inaya, the question for you on the screen. Which surah's last word is the name of the surah? Okay? You'll be able to give the answer if you see the options. Right? I'll give you the options. Options are for you, surah Humaza. Option B is surah Fil. Option C is Surah Quraysh and option D is Surah Ma'un. Which Surah you think? The last Surah. Surah's last word is the name of the Surah. Inaya. Which one do you think? Four options for you. I think it's D. You think it is D. You think it is D, Surah Ma'un. Okay, if you say that it is the D, <clears throat> you're leaving out another three options. I'm confident. What? One of those <clears throat> was the right answer. You don't want to change your mind? No. Okay. If you don't want to change your mind, I will log the answer for you and see whether your answer is right or wrong. Ready? Yes. Inshallah. Let's see. Mashallah, mashallah, Anaya. That was the great answer. It was Surah Ma'un. Which surah is it? Ma'un. Surah Ma'un starts with Ra'ai. Alright, and it ends with We am Naunal Maun. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. <coughs> so, Inaya, you have five. Question goes to Riha now. Riha, when you are ready. Question for you on the screen. Which surah means the women? 
can get the options. Okay. Yeah. Options. There are A, Surah An'am, B, Surah Ma'ida, C, Surah Nisa, and D, Surah A'raf. One of the Surah means the women. I'm not sure, but I think I'll go for A. You'll go for A. Okay. Okay. That's your final answer. Yeah. Do you know the meaning of all these surahs? No. So you just took a guess. Mm -hmm. You might be right, you might be wrong. So would you like to change your mind? Um, no, I think I'll stick you want to stick with the answer? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah? I think so, yeah. Okay. If you want to stick with the answer, I will lock the answer for you and see whether the answer is the right answer or the wrong answer. Okay? The women mean, is it? An'am. Uh, uh, <coughs> it is not an'am. You have, you just lost your answer. In fact, it is Surah Nisa. Look at it. It is Surah Nisa. Nisa, Nisa mean? <coughs> the woman. woman. Okay, so Riha. Still, there's chance for you, still. Okay, Inaya, you remember how much you have? Five. Five, okay. I'm back to you with another new question. This is the very, very hard question. I want to see. Saleh alayhi salatu wasalam story goes with which tribe? Final round, so the question a little bit tricky. A prophet is, his name is Saleh alayhi salam. His story goes with which tribe? Allah sent him <coughs> to which tribe? There are four options for you. One option is he was sent to a tribe called Jurham. Another option that Saleh alayhi salatu was sent to a tribe called Ad, another tribe is Samud, and final is the Saba. So, which tribe Saleh alayhi salatu was sent to? Allah sent him to which tribe? Okay, so in this instance, if you are, are you sure with any answer? I think it's B. <coughs> you think it's B. Okay. I can do one favor for you. Fine. Don't worry, I'll do a favor for you also with <laughs> the next question. Um, I can do a favor for you that is one of the incorrect answer I can point out. So you'll have uh, the three will be left and you'll choose which one is it. Maybe it will help you. Okay, let me take out the D. D, the wrong answer. Now you have another three. One of the tribe that Saleh alayhi salatu was sent to now you need to choose. C. Hmm? <coughs> C. C. Okay. The first answer was you gave, that was B. Now you change your mind, you're going for C. 
Shall I lock it? Yes. Okay. I will lock it. You said you are confident, so I want to see your confidence. Okay. There you go. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You changed your mind and it worked. Alhamdulillah. So, how much you have now? Ten. Ten. Mashallah. Mashallah. That is great. Alhamdulillah. <coughs> Good. How are you feeling now? More confident? Hmm? Inshallah. Inshallah. But Reha can come back. Right? She still has another two questions to go. Okay, Reha, question for you on the screen. Zakaria alayhi salatu wasalam is the father of which prophet? Right? Yeah. Options for you. A. Ilyas alayhi salam. B. Yahya alayhi salam. C. Ayyub alayhi salam and D. Yusha alayhi salam. Right? One of these prophets is the son of Zakaria alayhi salam. So which one is it? Is it Ilyas, Yahya, Ayyub or Yusha? Which prophet you think is the son of Zakaria alayhi salam? Deha. I think it's C, Ayub. You think? I think it's C. You think it's C? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Reha. In this case, I will do a favor for you. Right? Maybe you can win. The answer you gave, the C, because I did a favor for Anaya, right? <clears throat> and she changed her mind and she got it right. Similar. I can take out one of the incorrect answer here, right? And then you'll choose. Okay? Yeah. I will take out to make things simple. The option you chose, C, is not the right answer. Okay? Now you have, because the C is not the right answer, so now you have another three left. Which one you think is the correct one? Um, I think it's A. You think it's A. Ilyas alayhi salam. Mm -hmm. hmm? Okay, if you say it is Ilyas alayhi salam, is the son of Zakaria alayhi salam. And that is your final answer. Hmm? Okay. Reha. Shall I lock it? I'm going to log the answer A. Unfortunately, it is the wrong answer. Reha. In fact, Yahya alayhi salatu was salam is the son of Zakaria alayhi salam. And Yahya alayhi salatu is the cousin of Isa alayhi salam. Right? So Isa alayhi salam and Zakaria and, and Yahya alayhi salam are the cousin and the uncle was Zakaria alayhi salatu was salam. Anyway, Inaya, okay, <coughs> that was your final question. Now we are going. Uh, Enaya, we are going to your
question. Okay? That is your question on the screen. Who was the aunt of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Right? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we call it auntie, right? Aunt of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look. A. Asma radiallahu ta'ala anha. B. Is Maimuna radiallahu ta'ala anha. C. Is Safiya radiallahu ta'ala anha. And the D. Is Umm Ayman radiallahu ta'ala anha. A. A. You think Asma radiallahu ta'ala anha was the aunt of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes. What thing, what thing may, made you to say that it is Asma? Why did you think like this? I just uh, guessed it. <clears throat> Your guess could be wrong. Or is it because Asma is the famous name? No. You want me to help you out? I think it might be C then. You like, <clears throat> now you change your mind to C. First you were in A, now you are going for C. But I don't know which one is the right one. Really? So you are thinking it is the C. Safiya radiallahu ta'ala anha. Yes. Hmm? <coughs> Shall I lock it? Yes. You are confident? Are you? Always you say you are confident. Okay. Let's see whether your confidence pays you out. Right? Safiya. A very new name. Okay, let me lock it then. Ready? There you go. Oh, mashallah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, inaya. That was very tough. That was very, very tough, I tell you. Because very few people will know the aunt of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the Safiya. Asma radiallahu ta'ala anha, the first answer you gave, Asma radiallahu ta'ala anha, she was uh, the big sister of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. She was the daughter of Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Okay? So that was the wrong choice. If you were uh, just uh, stick on your answer with Asma, you would have lost. And <coughs> Obviously, Maimuna. Maimuna is the wife of Rasulullah Sallallahu And Umm Ayman. Umm Ayman is, she looked after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when his mother Amina died. So Umm Ayman, she is, oh, of <coughs> course, not the auntie of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi That was the Safiya, was the aunt of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Inaya, you gave the correct answer. Alhamdulillah, you just went through and you are the winner. And big thanks to Reha. Alhamdulillah, Reha. You came along, you played, you built up your confidence. The next time when you come to the show, you know what to do. Inshallah, both of you are very talented. Alhamdulillah. I enjoyed the show thoroughly, mashallah. Sometimes you change your mind, and alhamdulillah, you won. Mashallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you barakah. The audience and the viewers at home. A question for you, if you would like to join to our show. The question would be for you, that is, on the screen, what is the ruling of performing Jum'ah Salah for a traveler? 
if you are traveling a musafir, maybe you are traveling more than 48 miles, do you have to perform Jum'ah Salah? What is the Islamic ruling? If you know the answer, give your answer. There are two options for you. Is it necessary or not necessary? If you think it is necessary or not necessary, write your answer to iqra at quiz.tv. We will call you, but before we call you, what you have to do, you have to give your name and number. Question, what is the ruling of performing Jum'ah Salah for a traveler? If you know the answer, please email us iqra at quiz.tv and alhamdulillah. That was the iqra quiz show. Alhamdulillah, these genius contestants, they contested, you know, it is, sometime it is, you know the answer, but just in the right time, the answer doesn't come. It doesn't mean that you don't know the answer. You know the answer. But it is the time. But Alhamdulillah, we congratulate both of our contestants. Because, uh, and Anaya, big thanks to her because she is the winner today. And Riha also, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless everybody. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give tawfiq to the, those uh, children and the families. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.